guys, and welcome to a new episode of Life is Strange, where we left off with a huge cliffhanger. We're about to go see alternate reality Chloe. We have no idea what's going on. Maybe she's still mad at us for not talking to her for five years. We're a huge bitch in the Vortex Club now, which is kind of weird. Alternate reality is really weird. We don't have Warren, which is really sad. And there's beached whales because the environment is going... The environment is going awry. So let's see what happens with future Chloe. Or not future Chloe. What the fuck? Alternate reality Chloe. God. Holy shit. Here we go. Hey, they like painted the house though, man. Right? They were like halfway done doing that? Or was that like inside or the backyard or something? The knocking didn't make any noise. It's weird you can like see the swirls of the air. Max Caulfield. <sighs> taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Oh, he's alive. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of... <laughs> right? I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Oh! So Chloe, everyone's alive. You have a visitor. Oh my god, why am I shocked? Oh my god! What the fuck? <sighs> oh my god. Really? Why would this happen? Did she go get her mom? Are you fucking kidding me? That's the end of the episode? <sighs> oh my god. So now I have to go back in time and try to make it better because this is awful. Like, is it worth a guy's life in order to not make Chloe a fucking invalid, right? Alright, so, I stole the money, and so did 47% of people. 50% of people. I kissed Chloe, most people- 100% of my friends kissed Chloe because they're fucking perverts. I sided with David, 50-50 and 81%. My friends are a little bit weird. You got Frank's dog hurt. 0% of my friends got Frank's dog hurt. You guys are fucking awesome. Any of uh, you guys that I have in Steam friends list, fuck yeah. Um, most people didn't do anything. They probably saw that coming where it's like, throw into the street! Of course you don't want a dog going into the street. Chloe has David's gun, Frank has David's gun. There's a way to make Frank have David's gun. Alright. Uh, Lisa is alive. What the fuck? Oh, the plant! Haha! <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh. 60% of the world wasn't allowed to make Lisa live. You helped Warren with his exam. 50% of my friends did. You are not on the Vortex Club party list, because I don't give a fuck! Uh, you didn't change the Vortex Club party list. You erased the cop's answer phone message. Answer phone? What the fuck? You helped Alyssa. 100% of my friends helped Alyssa, because you guys are all nice people. Uh, you didn't warn the homeless woman. About what? 100% of my friends didn't either. What the fuck? We didn't even know that you could do that. Uh, you didn't take a photo in the past, okay? And you left a mark on the fireplace. Good shit. Why are we going to a party? This is the the next next episode. Okay, we're starting the next episode like right now. Let's go, bitch. All right, play episodes, episode four. Let's go. Alternative beach. God, this Previously is fucking awful. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Yeah, I know. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Freak. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about the previous lease. Yeah, Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all of your in-game actions will impact the past, future, and present. Alright, man. What am I gonna say to her that it's not like, holy shit, I'm fucking sorry. I went back in time, should I go back? Can I go back and not fuck shit up? Oh, there's a crab. These graphics aren't amazing. Crabs are cute. I like crabs. Even when they pinch me. Woot, Square Enix. Come on, I want to talk to Chloe about why the fuck she's an invalid. A retardo, a paraplegic. All the offensive words. Paraplegic is not offensive. But the root word of 
You know, you can't you can't just use the word invalid and then pretend that it's not invalid with just a different tonage. Okay, so there's a lot of dead whales. And Chloe's all fucked up and I don't know why. And I wanna know why. I can't stand it! Tell me why. Let's talk to her. She's too young to have like gone out like and saved her mother or whatever. Gone out and gotten her mother from the store. Oh my god, man. Will she get better? Holy crap. You definitely go back in time and kill the dad, right? And just like put it back to the way it was. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. Oh, so I did keep in touch with her. My other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. Oh my god. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. Oh, come on. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. Why didn't I visit her? You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. In every reality, Max uh, is a stupid bitch. Pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? Standard. At least she's still Chloe. Seriously, the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Of Those dead whales. whales. are so sad. Yeah, they are. I kind of know how they feel. Aww. At least. <laughs> this is I'm awful. here with you. Kinda. You're Some things that are worse than death, Chloe. man. I know you have to deal with so much. She must I be in like pain all the time. For me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh my god. So she's one of those kids. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? I guess not. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? That fucking sucks, dude. Everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Oh my god. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking awful! When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Right? Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to so her? So she still uh, vanishes never. too. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even oh, know Oh, they weren't name. even friends. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't I just it? ignore her question, After what the fuck? eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say Don't that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging Aww. out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Well, hella? she can feel her face. I hate that word, no offense. Wow, she hates that word. She used to hate that word, and then she learned it from her. She's like a totally different person. Totally different Chloe. Well, not totally different. But still. That fucking sucks. 
Oh my god. Am I stuck in this reality or can I like go back? I mean, maybe she's happy. Maybe there isn't any pain. I don't know. Maybe it's alright. I think we should ask Chloe what she wants. Like, and, like, let her know that there's an alternate reality where her dad dies and she is super angsty and unhappy. I don't know, but that's a lot to put on a person. But also, Max shouldn't be making that decision. I feel like they gave the power to, like, the worst person. Yep, they painted the house. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. Mm. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Ha! <laughs> That's that cute. A, you know. No, Chloe, it's cute. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Rager. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can Oh my bump. god, this is so and awful. doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. Oh, that sounds hot, but imagine. no. Inappropriate. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Yeah, dude, no problem. Let's get that shit quick. Snow dough. I feel like an asshole if I look at this stuff right now and she needs water. So let's just get her water. Water. Drink up, buttercup. There's nothing in there! Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you oh my ever God. thought about doing a podcast or something? Yeah, that would be a great idea. Your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am Why a not? pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. I think people would read that blog. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. She should definitely do that. Seems like, like a blog. Kids in another life. Have a setup. Seems to like me, yesterday. I hear a fucking like saw we going off. Little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour. <laughs> Even my parents. <laughs> that was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which, Which friends, friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. That's fucked I up. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Uh Are they okay? Are they okay? I mean Are they still happy together and everything? So now well, you're still Dr. together. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. Who the fuck is Dr. And Bill? I Dr. Phil? Too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. She hopes that. Max. The only child who hopes their the parents still have sex. It's been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Oh my god. Can, Can they, they pay? Pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Oh my fucking Holy. god, dude. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Chloe of course, Price. I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. That sounds It'd awesome. Be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? She's like uh, super excited. She got like a. I think I'm in like a, a girl boner. Blade Runner mood. I oh yeah. Kind of Let's Plus, do you know, it. I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Aw. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. 
I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh. Dude, this is fucking awful. Okay, let's search things. Nothing but medical supplies. That oh must be God. her mighty morphine machine. She has to be on morphine. No more bongs for her. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like butterfly thing. <laughs> Do you guys hear that fucking so chainsaw heard. in the background? It's not in real life. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Oh my god. There's the old Chloe. <laughs> Studded bracelet. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is cool. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Oh. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hot Wheels chat room, oh my god. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. That's pretty cool. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Oh. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. It's a man. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Chloe, Real just thought nice. I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you're well. Love, Max. At least That's I sent awful. road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm oh sure they God. made her feel great. Right? You're like, hey, look how much fun I'm having, and I'm not with you. I still and I'm can't not inviting I you. Chloe in that chair. Awful. That's Max is terrible. so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, dude. Okay, snow dough. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. She looks like a skateboard one, too. Snow globes are taking over. She likes snow globes, man. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Like me. Alright. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Aw, you're like her only real friend still. And like, I never went to visit her because I'm like a bitch in the Vortex Club or whatever. <sighs> Here's the DVD. Oh, that's awful. This is like the saddest, most depressing fucking thing in the entire world. Alright guys, I think that's a good place to stop. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and cry in the comments about how fucking awful this episode was and how awful alternate reality, reality Chloe is, but still her dad's alive and I'm sure she appreciates that and I think she would be selfless enough to choose this, uh, even though she is not happy at all. This is fucking terrible. I feel so bad for her. <sighs> what a depressing episode. Bye guys.